at, at, at the very least, if he's willing to break a lease in D.C. and our financing is predicated on his long-term lease in Virginia, you know, for the bond financing, uh, and he's willing to do that, then that doesn't bode well for for the deal or, or for for Virginia. And um, and if he and if of course he's now got to negotiate with D.C. to get out of this deal, which is going to you know they're going to. It's going to cost some money, obviously, and uh, and then he's going to, and then we've got to negotiate with him if if this is what the governor. I mean, the governor's frankly, he's been a bit obsessed with this. It's his number one priority. Um, it's the only thing we really hear about. Um, and I've been proudly a, a no vote from the very beginning. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you the reason why. It's because our community in Northern Virginia and Alexandria, and you mentioned that I represent the 16th district. That's Mount Vernon and Franconia along the river from just, just south of the Beltway, yeah. Huntington. Do you represent Huntington? No, I don't. Oh, that's uh, the that's end of Delegate Sickles is in okay. Huntington, but I start over at Bellhaven, and I go straight right from the uh, from from the Beltway all the way down to to. Uh, Fort Belvoir. So I have the Mount Vernon estate, and then I go, so I have the whole river there, and I go west over to the uh, Huntley Meadows area. So it's a it's a very um, compact district, and a lot of my constituents, in fact, work over at the Pentagon, and they have to drive through this area. The Richmond know, Highway, US yeah, they 1? Take, they take Route 1, they go through Old Town, and then they go through where the arena would, would be placed uh, to get to work so that they're not too uh, sanguine about about that traffic but really the big the bigger issue is you know my constituents are oriented towards dc they have a they have a we you know people move to mount vernon because they want to be close to the city and many of them have lived in the city or may live in the city again uh and i would i would just guess and i think this would be a pretty you know uh good guess that 75% 75% of, of my constituents have been to D.C. in the last month, and that's probably a low number. And well, probably 25% have been to Richmond in the last two years. The, 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 the proposal failed. Initially, it was approved by the House, but Senator Louise Lucas in the Senate said no. And it, so it's, it's not in the budget. And it's up to the governor on April 17th if he wants to send it down again to your one-day legislative session, April 17th. But instead of, of, of working with the legislators, he seems to be traveling around the state uh, just trashing Democrats for blocking the arena deal, and he's vetoing lots of legislation that the Democrats passed. It doesn't sound like to me that he's looking to compromise at all. Is he doing something that maybe we in the media don't know that will help him get this deal done? It looks like he's digging a deeper grave for it. I just I don't think he understands the the dynamics of the way the General Assembly works. He's probably not used to having a board of directors of 140 delegates and senators, you know, that uh, all have their own uh, constituencies as well, who are essentially our board of directors. Yeah, no, I don't, I, I, I think he's going on about this all the wrong way. Uh, it, from the very get go, from the beginning, it's been, um, it, he's, he has not been very good at, he's not been adroit at any kind of negotiation. Has any governor sp- person spoken to you in the course of when the House voted for it? Did, did anybody try to persuade you? You're, you're right in the line of fire of development, whether it's going to be good or bad for your constituents. And also, I'm on the Appropriations Committee, Ooh, and that's where, important. yeah. Yeah, so it came to appropriations first, and I voted. I was one of three appropriators that voted no, uh, and I did. I have had some. Uh, he, his secretary of, of finance, Secretary Cummings, has has uh, met with me in my office. Uh, he's had some of his lower uh, ranking um, administrative folks meeting with us, but I really we haven't had much. If any, I, certainly I have not talked to him at all, um, and I don't think our leadership, from what I've, now again, this is what I read, and I get a lot of my information comes from the press, right? Just like, uh, and so I appreciate you guys asking us these tough questions, but I, I do, some of it's just um, back at you, right? The uh, But he um, he hasn't really had too many meetings with our leadership as well. But, uh, you know, I would like to see him hold a public a public hearing in Alexandria. Let's hear from the people who are going to be directly affected. Well, you mentioned that you voted against it in the budget. In, are there any scenarios, you just talked about holding a public meeting in Alexandria, are there any scenarios in which you could see yourself voting for the arena? It would be, I would be hard-pressed to do it. 
because it would be a 180 degree turn for you. It would be. I mean, not just because it would be a 180 degree turn, but it, and and to be honest, there's nothing. I, I I'm pretty convinced that for you know. There's not much he can do to make this a good deal. The pro- especially you just mentioned the fact that he's willing to to violate the lease in in D.C. The uh, the the traffic down there is going to be much worse. You only have one uh, metro track going through there. You don't have the intersection you have in Chinatown with. Uh, you can walk from a number of different metro stations. Th- there in in Alexandria, you you can only uh, you only can get there from one. Uh, again, like I said, we don't see this as economic development in the for the region because you're just kind of robbing Peter to pay Paul. You're moving you're moving the the, the development from from Chinatown to to Alexandria. A redistribution. It's just a redistribution. The yeah. same workers, the same everything, and it's in a it's in a worse place. If and you it, would like to weigh in on this conversation, give us a call at eight hundred four three three eight eight five zero. Send us an email to Kojo W 